Welcome to Texan Math. Today we're looking at item number 30 on the STAR Grade 5 Mathematics Assessment. Let's read the item. The numbers below all have something in common. 64, 112, 96, 240, 344. Which statement describes something these numbers have in common? Uh, and then all the answer choices basically say the same thing except the number changes each time. It says in F they are all divisible by 12, in G they're all divisible by 16, H they're all divisible by 8, and J they're all divisible by 6. Now I know some of you are thinking, and I was too, if it's divisible by 8 then it must, or 16, then it must also be divisible by 8. So if students understand divisibility then they know uh, that 16 probably could never be an answer choice because then there'd be two right answers. And the same is true for 12. If 12 were an answer choice, then there would be two right answers. So if they truly understand divisibility and how multiple choice tests are, F and uh, G could be eliminated. Um, that's not really part of the TEAK, I don't think, uh, the test taking strategy that helps you eliminate that way. but. So uh, there may be some argument ha about how good this item is, and maybe y'all can chime in on the comments about what you think of that. But I'm going to go ahead and work the item uh, and figure out what it is we can do to quickly get through this. If we were to just take all of these numbers, and there's five numbers here, and do long division, uh, the amount of time that would take would really be a little bit uh, extensive. So what I'm going to do instead is come up with a strategy that involves factor trees and I will be able to narrow down my answer choices fairly quickly with this strategy. So I'm going to start with the number 64 and I'm going to break that down into prime factors. So uh, just whatever the first thing your students think of when they see 64 is what they could start with, but I typically think of 8 times 8 is 64, and then 8 is 4 times 2, so I have 4 times 2, and the other 8 is 4 times 2, and then I'll break those down as well. So I end up with only 2's for factors when I've broken down into my primes. I like to underline that last row to show that is my, um, those are my factors. I'll go ahead and highlight all those twos. So you'll notice that the only prime factor in 64 uh, is 2. That means there's no other uh, prime factor in that number. So we're going to go through the answer choices now and we can already eliminate two of these answer choices. You'll notice that the number 12 uh, has a factor other than 2 in it. In fact, the number 3 will go into 12 because 12, if you break it down, is 2 times 2 times 3. Well, that 3 is not a factor of 64, so that means the number 12 could not possibly go into 64. So we can eliminate answer choice F and the same way down here with this 6. 6 is 2 times 3. Well, we can't use a 3. 3 is not an option because there's no 3 for a factor of 64. So we have already narrowed this down into just two answer choices. Now if your kids are discerning, they'll realize it can't be 16 and 8. Both uh, can't be right. If we're taking a multiple choice test, there's only one right answer. So uh, 16 would actually have an 8 in it. So 16 couldn't be the answer, and of course 8 is the answer. But let's just assume that on future STAR tests, they don't make this type of assessment item where two of the answer choices uh, don't make sense like that. Let's go ahead and look at the 16 and the 8 and see if they are indeed factors of 64. And you will notice that 16 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. It's 4 times 4, which breaks down into four twos, and I've just circled that up here. So the number 16 will go into uh, 64, and of course 8 will too, because you only need three twos for 8. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So uh, G and H both work for 64. Now I'm going to take 112, which is the next number on the list. I've already eliminated the other answer choices. So really all I'll need are twos here and I'll need at least 
uh, three twos for it to be divisible by eight as a f or f as factors, and four twos to be divisible by uh, sixteen. So if we'll do one hundred and twelve, well, let's see. Let's see, fifty six will go into that twice, and fifty six is twenty eight times two. So twenty eight times two times two which is 7 times 4 times 2 times 2, which is 7 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And again, the last row here has the four twos, which means it has the three twos. So actually, 112 is divisible by both 16 and 8. And then we'll continue on with 96. 96 is 48 times 2, which is 12 times 4 times 2, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2. And I'm going to switch that around. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I have lots of 2's here. Did I do that right? So I have 2 times 2 here and then 3 more 2's. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, I have my four twos right there. So I have in my prime factorization four twos. So that one is also divisible by 16, which means it automatically is divisible by 8. So let's move on to 240. Of course, it's going to be the last one that we do here, but that's okay. Uh, 6 times 4, 2 times 5 for 10. So 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, now my 2's are all together again here, conveniently. So that means in this prime factorization I have a 16, which means I also have an 8. So we're finally down to the last number, which is 344. Oh my, well I know it's divisible by, hmm, Let's just do long division. We are. Let's try um, eight, which hopefully is our answer here. So we'll do eight goes into three hundred forty. That would be forty times. Now notice I'm putting it in the tens place, so we call that forty. Eight times forty is three twenty, and that leaves me twenty four. And then eight goes into twenty four. Um, three times, and three times eight is 24, and no remainder. So that means eight goes into that exactly 43 times. So let's, let me write that one down. We've got 344, which is equal to eight times 43. Now 43 is a prime number, and will not divide by two, so it, 16 could not possibly go into this, because I have eight, I'll need another two to get eight times 2, which is 16, and I don't have it. So the answer choice uh, H must be correct because the number 16 does go into all the numbers, but the last one does not go into 344. The correct answer choice was H. They are all divisible by 8.